Lazarus, then of course you created the ESP code, ESP standing for essence, sole purpose. Uh, just wanted to discuss, we're having the full moon tomorrow, or tomorrow morning here in Sydney at uh, around 10 past 7 in the morning, Australian Eastern Standard Time. Now, for those that have followed, um, I've written a book, created a video course, and we've actually started workshops now in Sydney. And uh, we're showing people, just by knowing their first number, their identity number, uh, by adding the sun and moon, because we're affected day and night by these two, uh, these two objects when we look in the sky, it could be an epiphany just by knowing one number of your four number sequence, just to guide you a little bit, but uh, just sending this quick live video now to let people know that, uh, yes, the full moon can affect you because the, the mind is water, the body is water, and the mind is roughly 90% water. The body 70% approximately. So the full moon and um, affects people in the terms of how people go crazy or um, Looney Tunes and this type of stuff. There's, there's actual reality behind it because uh, we are guided and affected by the energies and frequencies, if you will, of the planets. And uh, there's no better way than to understand yourself by understanding the code, which is the essence soul purpose code. So for all those that are interested in uh, a workshop, um, by uh, all means, it would be awesome to um, have you come on and come to the workshop and say, hey, there's El Mai watching and I've got Enrico watching. Hey, how you doing? Bring them on camera. Let's uh, see. Add. Okay, we've got uh, Enrico watching, wants to come on camera, let's have his video. But yeah, so uh, empowering yourself with these four numbered sequence can mathematically, in a simple way, help you um, uh, guide yourself in life and you can understand the profiles of yourself, your loved ones, you can understand how you profile with people around. You can, how you profile in business, in personal life, with the country, with the house location you're in. And you can also maneuver your future ahead with the day that you're running, the month that you're running, and the year that you're running. And you can also find out your life, past life number, by merely just knowing numbers. So I teach all this in a half-day workshop. So it would be uh, awesome if we can gather some people to uh, master themselves and understand how they can control their synchronicity so to speak through numbers and that's how i see things we have other gifted people that see through psychic abilities through mediumship through uh, healing through uh, crystals everyone uh, has their gift i happen to have it with astrology and neurology but i'm focusing on neurology because it's simple and right now people on earth need something that's simple uh, that's speedy and that can give them synchronistic results, meaning deja vu or coincidence. And when people start to see how I see and how other awakened, esoteric, metaphysical, spiritual, religious people seek, you begin to see epiphanies. Now, for example, not many people know this, but Bob Hawke's ESP code was 3363. And the reason why I'm mentioning it, yes, it is a federal election here to this evening, but and he passed two days ago, and I just happened to Wikipedia... Um, uh, thank you, Rick, for that comment. Your neurology is excellent and awesome. Love it. Oh, I always love positivity. Uh, Rick's a, a very positive person, an unbelievable concreter that has the ability to ground himself whilst being psychic. Uh, it's a balance of the both brains. So speaking of Bob Hawke, 3363 had three numbers in his four numbers E speaker. That's why he was childlike. That's why he was a larrikin. And that's why he was the people's people, arguably Labour's best Australian prime minister. I'm not political. Uh, who knows? One day I may run for politics, but might start my own party. I don't know. This is crazy. We'll see what happens. But um, what I'm trying to show you is how the code can show you characteristics. And he began his political move in 1983, just as he finished his third number of the six, pushing into the three, because six is about politics. So just. You gotta understand, 3363, he was he knew how to talk to the people, he knew how to blend in with the people, and he also knew how to um, um, uh, empower people in a childlike manner to create a lot of reform in that era. And if I stand correct, he created Medicare, floated the Australian dollar. Yes, he was alongside Paul Kidney as in the 
as his treasure. But people have to understand, Bob Hawke was a studied Oxford University in law and economics. And I, I just watched his documentary yesterday. I was just flicking through. His mother, when he was born, kept opening up the Bible on his eye, saying that he would lead a country, that he would lead a country, that he would lead a country. So his parents infused at a young age his desire to become what he did. And he ended up working for the Federation Union and then loved by the people. And then in the 60s, say he would become prime minister and he did. But I'm just showing you how the ESP code works. The ESP code can break down politicians. The ESP code can break down spiritual people. The ESP code can break down religious people. The ESP code can break down everyday people. Everyday humans can understand this. Now, I read for some smart lawyers or accountants. I've also read for everyday trade people. Everyone has a spiritual yearning. It's just that people have that yearning at different age groups. Some at a very young age, some have awakenings later on. However, you have to understand is that if the earth is shifting from 3D to 5D, people need to really become more spiritual and awakened. And by doing so, they'll be able to then combat the 5G bad technology of the radiation because there's always solutions. It's not about fear-mongering. It's about knowing, alertness, and then looking for solutions. So... Um, uh, yeah, so uh, come and give me, you can swipe me or come in a message me on Messenger and come to a workshop. We're doing workshops, trying to get them going on Saturday afternoon at 5, 5.30. They go for four hours here in the western suburbs in Penrith. It would be awesome for you to come down. And uh, until then, um, rest in peace, Bob Hawke. I'm not a politician, but I just thought I'd say that anyway. Thank you. Bye-bye.